Alright guys, how's it going? In case we're here with some quick gaming news for you. So pretty much it's been sort of hinted that Watch Dogs 2 is in development. Uh, so pretty much based on a leak-in profile of, of the name of Jolyn Rosie, I think I'm saying it wrong, uh, who is based at uh, Ubisoft Paris, he had an announced game listed in his profile alongside Watch Dog and his Bad Blood DLC before removing it. And unfortunately, the people over at Video Gamer managed to grab a screenshot of it. So pretty much the screenshot, it shows that, uh, you know, the position of Mr. Jolie, who is a senior gameplay uh, programmer, pretty much stated his, uh, you know, his time in the company from December 20, 2013. They calculated that to present, which is a year and five months. And under the project, it says Watchdog slash Bad Blood slash Watchdogs 2. Uh, so pretty much anybody who has played a Watchdogs game, um, you know, it was um. Well, when Watch Dogs was released, it was actually pretty good. I, I had a great time with it. You know, there's a lot of doubts out there. You know, there's a lot of people that didn't really say it didn't live up to expectations. It didn't really live up to its full expectations to me. But overall, it was still a pretty good game. You know, gameplay-wise, it was amazing. Um, you know, uh, story-wise, it could have been a little bit better. Oh. Voice actors can be a little bit better. Uh, especially those controls on the car and the vehicles, they were crazy. You know, especially with the trucks and, you know, uh, the cars um you know it makes the motorcycle seem a little bit interesting because the motorcycle was the easiest to drive compared to the uh you know to the cars and the trucks which was kind of crazy but you know overall the gameplay wise i definitely had a blast with it and you know um i just can't wait i can't wait to see what they're going to do with Watch Dogs 2 hopefully they you know do something about the story the characters uh you know do more about the gameplay because there's a lot of stuff they actually sort of kind of teased and a lot of and built up that uh and, and the previews and stuff like that before the game actually came out that we wasn't really able to do so i'm like okay we get like a mixed bag of what we're going to do what we didn't really do but it would, it would be pretty cool and it right now has a lot of potential and like i said the watch the red, original watch dogs to me wasn't really bad it was pretty solid definitely has some lacking areas and some lacking some lacking um, elements to it but overall i had a blast playing the game uh, and along that, uh, Dead Island 2 has been delayed to 2016. It seems the people at Deep Silver uh, delayed the game along with Homefront, which is coming out 2016. They need more time to it, and pretty much they apologize to the fans because based off you know they the, the delayed the game, and many people were actually looking looking forward to it. And you know it just need to be worked on more, and it's not really up to date to what they have, and need to be more polished and, and still in development mode and stuff like that. So you know. Delaying the game is not that bad because delaying the game is pretty much you know keeping the game at its max and it's gonna be at its full potential. If this need if if it needs to be more time worked on it, then go all out for it. Uh, never played any of the Dead Island games before. I know there was like two Dead Island games or it was a Dead Island game in the DLC. I can't really remember. It didn't really live up to its full expectations. What I heard from it for it's based on the trailer, but overall, you know, because Bruno actually had a lot of bugs and glitches to it. But many people, you know, they say it's a very good time to play. I may check it out one day myself. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this game and news, especially the first one. Have you played Watch Dogs before? Let me know about it. If you, uh, if you, if you are, are you excited about Watch Dogs too? I think it still got potential to it. It didn't really live up to its full expectations on the first one, but it was still solid enough in gameplay wise that it kept me hooked up to the very end. So that's about it. See you guys later in the next gaming news videos. Have one for day, everybody.